Hey guys, timestamps are on the screen right now for returning viewers or anyone who wants to skip ahead. I'll keep the information in the video quick and to the point so that you can return to it while in the game and find the information you need. Icebox is a pretty challenging map for sentinels in general because of all the lurk routes people can take so you need to be on top of your util to stop them. And knowing how to lurk on Icebox is crucial. Let's start with attack. Cypher remains one of the most reliable sentinels because of his unlimited range and unsmokable trips. Hold B with just this wire here. If your team is playing for main you should hit any jet updrafts or omen TPs. A requires both trips, one here and one up here. If everyone pushes deep onto site, then it might be hard to hear anyone flanking you if they updraft over or TP past the trips. So just be careful. You might also want to trip deep in mid like this, along with this wire on B. It just holds a lot more space and you can keep your options open for a rotate later on in the round. A problem with icebox is that all the flank trips have to be placed after the round starts. So just be careful of an enemy push if you decide to trip like this to go A. Here are some helpful lineups for attacking cages. To cage mid, you can line up with this cross on the floor here. Aim at this corner and just throw your cage. Cage triggered. Sometimes I like to use my cages like this so I can cage, secure cage a, a sneaky plant on nest. This is a corner cage that's still quite effective. You throw the first one over the top of the screen like this, and then the second one in the middle of this panel on the floor against the wall. Cage triggered. Open the first cage and go inside. And then once it's about to go down, cage open the second triggered. one and push in. If you still have your camera, you can also throw it above here for information. For post plant one ways, there actually aren't too many. If you plant here, you can use a, a cage on top of screen. If you plant somewhere in this section, you can put a cage on top of this. You can actually make a one way here if you put a cage on this little texture here. Cage triggered. Or you can try and make a lineup for this spot above default plan. Cage triggered. I'll give a $10 Valorant points code to anyone who can find a safe and a reliable lineup for this on attack. Cage triggered. You're going to want to use your camera really early on to make sure that the duelists aren't pushing in to take a pick. When you pick your camera up, you can use it again after just 15 seconds. On A, I like to make sure they're not pushing nest with the first cam. And then push up and use the second one behind Genesis. And then the same thing on B. An early cam to make sure no one's pushing or isn't holding with an operator on top of yellow. And then you can use your second cam to either clear yellow or use on site like this. If your team manages to plant in nest on either Here. site, then there are some really good post plant cameras that you could use to stop them from diffusing. A cam in mid on attack I like to use is this one here. You get info on B main, yellow, kitchen, boiler, mid. You can easily find out where the op player is, call their location and then take your camera back. Lurking through mid is a really great way to apply pressure and keep the enemy on their toes. Or finding a pick on somebody who's rotating through orange, under tube or out of window. I like to put my camera here, put a trip wire like this inside of tube and then push up to this corner. Aim about here and open your camera and keep switching between them so that you can check for flanks and listen for people rotating through mid for an easy pick. But keep your crosshair here so that you can react quickly to anyone pushing down tube. Now for defense. As Cypher, your setup should change based on the enemy's team comp and who is close to or has their ultimate ability ready. These are currently the 10 most popular agents on Icebox, so most of the time you're going to be countering their kits and play styles. You'll usually find yourself playing on B site, so my go-to setup is like this. Once the enemy is familiar with your setup, you can switch up with trips like this. Keep in mind which agents you're up against, so if they have a jet, you might want to put a trip wire up here like this. And then play off it from here. I usually play from somewhere safe on site. If the enemy doesn't have a kit to press you out of yellow, then you can try playing here as well. If you want, you can try a one way on top of yellow. Just run into yellow and slam your face against it like this and throw your cage. Or you can make a lineup for it if you don't want to look silly. 
Cage triggered. Cage triggered. Here's a really nice cage peek you can use on B. Cage triggered. Here are some good cameras you can use. You have to keep changing them up based on the way the enemy is playing. You can use them to take early info. Hide one behind them for a retake. Or something that's going to keep an eye on mid. I usually set up on B and then use a camera here in mid for early info. Preventing a mid lurk is really important on this map. So if you're playing on B, your team's probably expecting you to hold mid as well. Now that there's a window here, it can be quite difficult to know if someone's crossed mid because they can go up through tube and out the window. So I like to use my camera mid here or even on top of this because it lets me hear local audio so I can hear if anyone's jumping out of window. But it's not perfect, so just let your team know that they have to watch out for mid. You'll usually have someone playing in kitchen or on boiler here, but as soon as they make noise on A, they're going to rotate off and you're going to be expected to pick up the position while keeping an eye on B as well for any potential lurks or fakes. With that in mind, it can be a good idea to put a tripwire deep in here like this, which will stop anyone pushing through unless they have an updraft or teleport. That way you can take a position in orange or on boiler and take more control of mid. You might want to just leave your camera here all around just in case. One of my favorite eco strats and icebox is to put my cam here and my cage here on yellow and then push onto this box and play close with a shotgun. The enemy is going to see your camera and shoot it out and then when cage you open your it. cage it's going to convince them that you're playing from yellow. Or mid maybe. Camera taken out. Cage triggered. Up 12 Get out of my way. Nice. If your team just keep getting rolled on site, try putting early trips in mid like this. So that you can fast rotate A or B and help your team. Now for A site, my go-to setup is actually like this. Once the round starts, put a tripwire up here and one down here. And ask your viper to put her wall up or use your cage like this. Cage triggered. Deep trips like this are really unexpected and you'll usually get two kills, but then you have to switch up your setup because they'll get used to it. And then just use any of these other tripwires to slow down their push. Choosing a spot to play from is actually quite tricky because nowhere is that safe. So just pick a place that you can play off a tripwire from and use the cages close to you rather than on top of the tripwire itself so that you have more cover. Cage triggered. For cameras, you can try placing a deep cam like this in nest at the start of the round. Or this one really high up here like this. This is probably one of the best cameras in the game. On eco rounds, I like to set up like this with one tripwire up here and one down here and just play here with a shotgun. Cage triggered. Here's a really silly corner cage you can do on defense. Line yourself up with this cross here. After the round starts, throw your first cage like this. And your second one here like this. Take the rope, jump onto here cage and open the first cage. Wait a little bit and then move around. And when the cage is about to go down, open cage the second triggered. one. I'll finish the video with some fun ways that you can use your cages to make flashy plays. Leave a like on this video so that you can find it again quickly when you play your next Icebox game. I'll be answering questions in the comments and so let me know if I missed anything and don't forget to join my Discord to keep up to date on new Cypher tech and take part in giveaways. Thank you for watching my guide to playing Cypher on Icebox. Let me know which map you'd like to see next. Bye! Cage triggered. Cage triggered. Cage cage triggered.
Cage triggered. Cage triggered. Cage triggered. Cage triggered. 